In this video, I am going to explain the problem which is related to metal cutting and mainly used for merchant circle diagram. Now let us see the problem. The following data that related to the orthogonal cutting of the mild steel part. The cutting speed 195 meters per minute and the tool rake angle that is 12 degrees and width of cut 1.75 mm and uncut thickness 0.25 mm average coefficient of friction between tool and chip 0.52 and shear stress of the work material 385 newton per mm square. So now from this data what uh, is asked to find out determine the following so first is cutting and thrust components of the machining force and second bit is shear force third one is normal to the shear force and fourth one is a frictional force and fifth one is normal force sixth is work done in shear and seventh is normal pressure on the chip and eighth is velocity of chip along the tool face and ninth is power consumed at the cutting tool. So most of these parameters you are going to find out once if you know the merchant circle and all the component of forces then you can easy to determine all these components. Now let us see that before going to solve the problem I already explained the last video for any problem first you have to note down the what is the data is given then what you are going to determine and start the solution. Now let us see that given data. In the problem what that data is given the cutting speed V is given 195 meters per minute and the tool rake angle that alpha is given 12 degrees you see that and width of cut the B is equal to 1.75 mm and uncut thickness T is equal to 0.25 mm and average coefficient of friction between tool and chip mu is equal to 0.52 and shear stress of the work material that tau is given 385 newton per mm square. Now what you are going to determine that you have to write here. So now the all these nine points, nine uh, their parameters they asked. So the cutting and thrust components of the machining force, shear force, normal to the shear force, frictional force, normal force, work done in shear, normal pressure on the chip, velocity of the chip along the tool phase and power consumed at the cutting tool. Now you can observe all these uh, forces. You can observe all these uh, are you can obtain easily from the merchant circle diagram. Now let us see that uh, the solution. So first bit is cutting and thrust components of the machining force. Now let us first you have to see that merchant circle diagram. I clearly explained in my the one of the video the merchant circle diagram. So anybody wants to know more about the merchant circle diagram. So you may watch that video. Now once again I will just brief the merchant circle diagram. What are the different component of forces here. Now let us see. Now you can observe here. Here all these force components are drawn. Okay, now this is FC is the cutting force and FT is the thrust force and R is the resultant of these two components. Similarly, FS is the shear force and FN is the normal to the shear force and FF is the frictional force and N is the normal force. The inclination of the shear force or shear plane from this horizontal that is the beta that is known as a shear angle. And here the alpha is from this uh, the frictional force this vertical line this angle is alpha that is the rake angle and this uh, gamma is the the friction angle okay. So once these components you are going to determine so at least these two forces if you know then you can easy to find out. Now let us first you have to find out all the angles that is the rake angle uh, friction angle and shear plane angle. So rake angle is already given. So you can find out the beta value and gamma value then find out the resultant force. Then once if you know the resultant force of A and these angles. So then any components you can find out from this geometry. Once we consider geometry from this geometry you are going to determine any component forces. Once if you know the resultant force and all these three angles. Now let us see that. So we know that the friction angle gamma is equal to that is mu is equal to tan gamma. 
so gamma is equal to tan inverse of mu so the gamma is equal to tan inverse of mu value is given 0.52 then it is equal to 27.5 degrees so that is the friction angle is 27.5 degrees then from the merchant circle shear angle beta we are going to find out that is the pi by 4 minus half of gamma minus alpha now substitute the gamma and alpha here then you can obtain the shear angle beta now let us see that shear angle beta is 37.25 degrees then once if you know the shear angle then shear force you can find out the shear force the, because the shear stress is given so the shear stress is equal to shear force by cross sectional area that is a shear angle okay so now from this shear force is equal to shear stress divided by the um, r into that area here area is a by sin beta so now the tau into um, b into t so this here this b into t is the the area the b is the width of the chip and t is the thickness of the chip okay so now use this uh, uh, substitute the data and you can substitute uh, find out the the shear force value okay so now the tau is given 385 and b is 1.75 mm t is 0 0.25 and beta is obtained 37.25 so from this we are obtaining the shear force that is a 278.3 newtons the shear force is obtained okay now let us see that now your first bit is asking to find out the cutting and thrust component of the machine for cutting force fc you are going to find out see the merchant circle diagram from the merchant circle diagram so you have to find out the uh, cutting force so first determine the resultant force in the merchant circle diagram first find out the resultant force the resultant force is obtained already we know the shear force so r is equal to fs by cos beta plus gamma minus alpha now substitute this data here then you can obtain the resultant force now the resultant force is obtained 459.78 newtons once the resultant is obtained then remaining components you are going to find out so now you can see that the cutting force fc is equal to r into cos gamma minus alpha now substitute the data r is obtained 459.78 and the all the three angles are known then you can substitute here obtaining the cutting force that cutting force is obtained 443.06 newtons next see the thrust component of the machining force so the thrust force ft is equal to r into sin gamma minus alpha now substitute this data r and gamma and alpha then you can obtain the thrust force the thrust force is here is obtained 122.87 newtons so now the first bit is completed the cutting and the thrust component of the machining force next second component also that shear force already calculated now come now you can see that uh, normal to the shear force okay, already shear force calculated now you can find out the normal to the shear force now see the merchant circle diagram so from the geometry you are going to find out uh, the normal to the shear force component that is the normal to the shear force fn is equal to r into cos of beta plus gamma minus alpha now substitute this data here then you can obtain uh, the normal to the shear force that normal to the shear force is obtained 364 newtons next see the the fourth one frictional force okay so now the frictional force ff is equal to r into sin gamma already resultant force is known so that uh, angles also known you can find out the frictional force now substitute the data you can obtain the frictional force here the frictional force is obtained 321.5 newtons next normal force so the normal force also from the geometry you can write the normal force n is equal to r into cos gamma okay now substitute the data then you can obtain the normal force that is a 328.7 newtons next sixth one work done in shear how we are going to find out the work done so the work done in shear that is obtained the shear force into the velocity of the chip in shear plane velocity of the chip along the shear plane once if you know the velocity of the chip along the shear plane and shear force then you can obtain work done in shear okay so but uh, velocity of the chip in the shear we, we not uh, value is not known only velocity is known so now from that we are going to find out we know that the chip velocity along the 
slip plane that is equal to V cos alpha by cos beta minus alpha. This is the formula you can use to find out the, the velocity of the chip along the shear plane. Now we can substitute the data. V value is given 195 meters per minute. So 195 into cos 12.5 degrees divided by cos 37.5 degrees that is the friction angle minus 12.5 degrees is the rake angle. So now substitute the data you can obtain the velocity. Once that velocity value you can substitute here then you can find out the work done in shear. Now the work done in shear is obtained. 54.63 joules per minute that is newton meter per minute next so normal pressure on the chip so what is the normal pressure on the chip that you are going to find out normal pressure on the chip is obtained the cutting force by cross sectional area cutting force by cross sectional area already we know the cutting force and area that is the width into thickness of the chip you can obtain the area so from that you can obtain the normal pressure on the chip is obtained 1012.7 newton for mm square next velocity of the chip along the tool face now velocity of the chip along the tool face that we see is obtained v into cos beta by cos beta minus alpha this is also obtained from the geometry okay from the merchant circle diagram you can find out the velocity of chip along the tool face there is a v into cos beta by cos beta minus alpha so now we can substitute the data v is 195 into cos beta the friction angle is obtained 37.5 degrees then divided by cos beta minus alpha that is 37.5 minus 12.5 so now we can obtain the, the value is 192.8 meters per minute that is the velocity of chip along the tool face. Now the last one the power consumed at the cutting tool. So what is the formula we can find out the power that is the cutting force into velocity divided by 60. So the actual cutting force into velocity is gives the power divided by 60 because that minutes is converted into seconds. Now substitute the data, the cutting force is 443.06 newtons and velocity V is equal to 195 meters per minute. Then converting the minutes into 60, 190 by 195 divided by 60. Then you can obtain this value is 1440 watts or 1.44 kilowatts. So this is the the power consumed at the cutting tools. I hope everyone understand how you are going to find the solve the numerical problems by using the merchant circle diagram.